Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to a Lost in Tokyo, but today we're not really lost. We are here in uh, Haneda Airport. Uh, we are actually at Terminal 2, and we are going to be uh, checking out some of these crazy-ass uh, vending machines. I hope uh, we can find some. Uh, I'm scared that the one machine I'm looking for is over at Terminal 3, but uh, we will check it out. Either way, um, if you are flying domestic or even some international uh, uh, flights coming into Terminal 2, hopefully this video will also help you to uh, get the lay of the land. Um, and yeah, just enjoy and uh, hang out. So good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining. Please check out the timestamps uh, of places of interest. Um, as we uh, walk around and uh, do what we do best here, giving you street view tours, even though we're in an airport, so it's an airport tour today. Uh, I'm just going to come up real close here and say good morning to everybody. Uh, so good morning to uh, Jeremy uh, Ramsey Silent. Good morning, uh, Dax Wolf. Good morning. Hey, Mom. Kathy Three Spider Fresh. Yeah, it's a vending machine live stream today. So you might like this one, Spider Fresh. Hey, cousin Vinny Forsyth, Jason M, and Mike Dramatic Paws Hawk. Good morning, everybody. Um, so I haven't found. I, I got here a little bit late, so I wanted to kind of check out the area. Uh, hey, Auntie Mambo. Hey, Lay Tetrazium and Eric. So um, I have no idea where I am, to be honest. Uh, hopefully, though, my my second phone is not hooked up properly, so we got to get that done and uh, turn the uh, comments on. Of course, uh, please smash the like button while you are here. Um, I know I'm too close, back up. <clears throat> hey, Kathy3, you've never had one, have you? Um, and let's get the YouTube app on. I hope it uh, is clear. More for the machines. I'll thank you, Jeremy, my first super chat of the day. Hey, Sister Mindy's mom, how are you? Hopefully um, everything will pop up. I think I have everything turned on. I do have the alert box turned on, so that's awesome. And uh, I'm gonna smash my own like, like button. My wife just sent me a message, I have no idea. And of course, uh, today, if you wanna help out, Super Chats are always welcome. I really appreciate it, but yeah, let's get going. I have no idea. I mean, that I am standing beside the escalator here, and this is going down to the KQ line and down into the uh, subway area. Um, and I'm just going to be walking around before I start looking at things, but of course you're going to have your, uh, your photo booth. Not much difference here in you know, some of these vending machines that we always see. Of course, you do have lockers that might be of interest to you uh, right away. I am in Terminal 2 Domestic and International for ANA. Got the ATM there if you want, you know, different things like that. So uh, yeah, let's go find out uh, where we are. I did ask up at the uh, information booth, <coughs> but they didn't really seem to know everything. Um, so yeah, you're getting an airport tour today, plus vending machines. So of course you have the massage right away. You got a travel shop. What I really like um, on the other side, right over there is Air Lawson. I've never seen an Air Lawson before. SB Japan, how are you? So I don't think I've been to this part of the airport in years. Usually I go over to the international. So this should be kind of interesting, especially if you're flying you know, into Tokyo and then you're gonna fly to Kumamoto or Kagoshima or you know, wherever. So these are uh, maybe significant places to uh, check out, of course. So this is the Air Lawson here. Yeah, you're gonna have your omiyage and all kinds of uh, different things here. They do have a Krispy Kreme, so Krispy Kreme is very important, of course. Uh, Krispy Kreme is just right behind here. Let me fix my uh, camera. I wanted to level out just a little bit more. And I went the wrong way. There we go. So they did say that uh, there are some vending machines available. Now, I might have to go on different floors, but I want to uh, give you more of a tour of uh, everything around here. Of course, the monorail. Uh, would be up this way. You like seeing airports in Japan? They are pretty cool. Of course, I am hitting certain uh, machines already. Uh, drink machines, you know, that's not what I'm really looking for. Uh, you do have the fresh orange juice vending machine here. Uh, looks like it's 500 yen. Feed me orange. 
500 yen for 100% cold juice. We are uh, gonna check it out right away here. Tracy Garcia, good morning. So that's kind of uh, interesting. You can actually see, they actually squeeze the oranges. So not bad, but let's continue on and uh, see what else we can find along the way here. Of course, this is uh, part of the train exit over here too. You got Yoshinoya, beef bowl, and uh, I'm just gonna keep walking around, checking out uh, the area. Now this here is part of uh, the monorail area. So uh, there are two places, uh, two train styles to get here. Uh, from the KQ line, of course, and through the monorail. Can you buy a parachute in one of those vending machines? Oh God, Robert Kwasinski is here. Good morning, Robert. Interesting comment. I have no idea why you would want one. <laughs> now, I will say that the vending machines are spread out everywhere. And, uh, of course, I'm looking for the onigiri cake machine, but... Uh, First off, the flower vending machine. 1,200 yen for like little preserved flowers. Uh, 3,000 yen for these little uh, bouquets. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. And uh, not sure what the hell is going on down there. But uh, again, we've, they've changed these flower vending machines to not have fresh anymore. Of course, you do have a curry if you really, and you got the spicy level here, this is three. I only see threes here, it's all threes, but you got shrimp. I think that's chicken. Looks like beef curries and things like that. And then you have the, can I thought these were canals, but yeah, they are canal. Um, 1,200 yen for two little things here. You got five for 2,600. Are these worth it? Not sure. I bet you you could get a shop in Tokyo just a little bit better. So, and of course, these are by the airport drug shop and uh, the exit of uh, the monorail. And of course, is Tempura Tendon Tenya, which is one of my favorite stores. Do they have pigeon curry? Yeah, you're, you guys are just being weird today. I knew I should have stayed home. <laughs> Of course, up there is domestic arrivals. You can see how quiet it got now as I'm uh, looking around. Of course, you have Family Mart. You have uh, just certain different uh, things over here. It looks like a lost and found or a baggage, a baggage uh, thing. And as we turn around, we'll just keep going down. Now, of course, this is, uh, I think, the first floor. I'm not sure exactly um, where it is, but... Kind of interesting, KQ line, monorail. Nice tempura shop I just passed by. Hey Tetrazium, how are you? Michael Tata, did I say hi to you? Hello. It's always fun to walk around airports, you know, and get the lay of the land. And a festa go. Oh, they got schmore? Schmores? Oh, seriously? Automate. This is an automated gift shop. There's no cashiers, ladies and gentlemen. So that is pretty cool. You walk in. I think you can only, I don't know if you can, oh yeah, I guess you can use cash. Automated gift shop, enter from the gate, choose the goods, self checkout. You can use cash, credit card, and Suica cards which is pretty cool. And then what you can see up here, these are all the cameras tracking your movements as to exactly what you are uh, getting. Hey, Eric, how are you? Uh, Robert, Troy and Tyra, good morning. We're not flying anywhere today. But yeah, you can see all the cameras up there. Those track everything that you pick up. And I wanna find out the, what the s'mores here, cause those look freaking awesome. Not sure exactly what they would be though. Hey, Mikey in Vegas, how are you, brother? Maybe I'll have to come back and check that out later on. Pistachio Pro, like seriously, if you love pistachio, 
It's a nice green, green store. It's a green store, ladies and gentlemen. Bookstores, you got the Krispy Kreme CC, good evening, how are you? Of course you do have the Krispy Kreme right over here, but I'm gonna take a whole walk, and that's a pretty cool view up there. Loving it. Isn't that a Macca's thing? I'm loving it. You got the Mercedes lounge back in here. So again, this is Krispy Kreme. How can you not want to start your morning off with a Krispy Kreme, right? It's pretty cool. They actually have a Mercedes-Benz store here. That is dope. Can you go in and just look around? Uh, I guess I could, Craig. I already passed it, I didn't see your comment, but look at this, this is the uh, Minataya Lounge. So a nice little lounge area, supported by Mercedes, of course. I'm gonna go back to that automated uh, thing, because I am interested in it. This air put, and this is nothing. You should wait till, if I have time to get over to uh, the International, we gotta take a shuttle or a train, but I'm not sure how the live stream would work with that. The International Airport is freaking amazing, so. I'm, uh, I tried researching as to where the vending machine is that I wanted to bring with you guys, and they don't, they don't uh, tell you exactly where. Bye, Robert. Can you actually buy a car? Probably not. I heard there was vending machines down in this area. So again, this is uh, the monorail. Uh, area. If Feng was here, he would love to be here. Hey, Robert Wallace. Macca's. And it's packed. Wow. Everybody wants to eat McDonald's, I guess. I am looking around for vending machines, but I'm not seeing uh, everything that I want, so I could be on the wrong floor. I'm going to go up to uh, the international area. You, got, you even got the PCR test behind me. Loving this place here. This, you guys will know, is uh, Magomoe. Uh, very famous uh, udon place. Of course, they have lineups in, uh, in Hawaii. That's the one I'm talking about. Yeah, they just got a... <coughs> Beer is on me. Thank you, Mikey and Vegas. So it looks like uh, there's not much on this floor. I'm gonna have to go up to the second floor here um, and find these uh, rows of prefectural uh, vending machines. Looks like, you now be careful, eh? This escalator doesn't go up to the next floor. That would go up to the third floor. So you gotta uh, be very careful. But uh, it's a very quiet little area. We are going up now to, uh, I think it's the arrivals, which is pretty cool. I am bound and determined. You know, like uh, the information, this is why I want to do this video, is when you, when you get here, sometimes you're not going to know. Hey, DeConnor, how are you? Uh, you you'll probably be on the uh, international area. So I'm at the domestic right now, domestic slash international, but... Hopefully, uh, we'll give you a complete tour of the whole Terminal 2 and Terminal 3, depending on uh, where we got to go, guys. Oh, smoking area, that's what I need right there. Of course, you are going to see smoking rooms inside the airport. Uh, it is Japan after all. Um, and even like when you're standing waiting at your, for your plane at your gate, they have these kind of smoking areas too, so that's pretty... Uh, Pretty convenient, I would, have, I would imagine. So, yeah, we were in B1F, and it looks like I gotta go up to the second floor. I see Marketplace here. Marketplace, Marketplace, Marketplace. So let's hope, uh, yeah, Del if you're flying Delta, you will definitely be coming to Terminal 3 International Airport. 
Ice cream vending machines are always everywhere. These used to be a craze. I used to actually eat the crispy sandwich one, the caramel. Lady Borden is very popular, and of course you have the Coolish. But that, again, that's not what I'm looking for. That is not what I'm looking for. You can see, you know, the airport is okay. There was a lot of people on the train, but a lot of them got off at, uh, at the International Airport before I could get off here to uh, number two airport. This is one, two. When you get off the plane, I mean the train, um, you either go left for terminal one or right for terminal two. I picked terminal two because I heard the vending machines were here, but I don't I think I'm batting zero. But again, you can see right inside the exit there, everybody's getting their baggage all inside there. And it's very small because as soon as you come out of the exit, there's the outside right in there. So it's quite easy to, uh, to walk through this airport and that's what exactly what we're gonna be doing. Now you can go observe uh, the planes, uh, there is an observation deck here. Not the greatest though, but maybe we'll uh, go check it out. Over there, is ter that's Terminal 1, way, way across there. So behind me, of course, is Terminal 3. And uh, what well, we found, the vending machines that I am looking for. I actually thought it'd be a lot uh, bigger. But again, here are uh, the vending machines. And of course, today we are looking at the, uh, the cake vending machine, which is right here. This is uh, the new one from Osaka, the Omosubi cake. But how awesome, 10 sticks of yakitori, double the price though. You can probably get these for about a buck, 90 yen to 110 yen at a, at a store. So, you know, 10, nine, 10 bucks for 10 sticks, but here it's an airport, right? So of course you're gonna have, uh, you're gonna have uh, a higher price, but if you like yakitori and you can't wait, you don't wanna eat airplane food, might be a great place to uh, get. You know, look at the, they got hamburger, uh, all kinds of different things. And yes, these are all frozen. You can see here, it does say frozen 24. But uh, we're gonna cut through here. Regular drinks. I like this, this is the Baskin Robbins. So they give you the, like the little cups of uh, ice cream, popping shower, chocolate, orange sherbet, caramel ribbon, very berry strawberry. Which one would you pick? Let me know in the comments. Oh, cotton candy, that's horrible. So, uh, and then, yes, this is what I'm looking for today, ladies and gentlemen, right here. They got the sky blue. Not sure what that is. Green tea, Mont Blanc. They got a cheesecake flavor, strawberry, milk tea, tiramisu, cookies and cream, and chocolate. Now, of course, uh, you can get a bag um, to take home to keep everything nice and cool, but, uh, let me know in the comments which one you would uh, choose, number one. I know which one I'm getting, and uh, we're gonna uh, get one and share it with you. I'm gonna take one home um, to Hiromi, of course. Hey, Jason Pointer. Uh, my second home away from home, except for the vending. Terminal two, yeah, we're in terminal two today. Very, very strawberry. Hi, Gio, how are you? Can you show the coffee? Um, as in the coffee over here? These are our coffees. Of course, you got uh, lattes and uh, black in the tall cans here. And then these are the coffees down here. Milk tea, matcha or orange tea or whatever you want to call it. And, uh, oh, hey, Michael Chavez. How are you? We've missed you, bro. My girlfriend is recovering from a procedure. Can you wish her a speedy recovery? Her name is Veruca. Oh, and some beer money. <laughs> Hey Michael, how are you? Uh, we're at Hanada Airport today. Veruca, uh, I'm sorry to hear that you are having troubles. Um, but yeah, I hope uh, you can recover and I hope Michael takes care of you and uh, everybody else. So be safe uh, and keep well. Everybody in the chat, can you give Veruca some hearts, please? 
throw me up some hearts. Let's see that chat explode with some hearts for Michael Chavez's girlfriend, Veruca, while I get some onigiri here. Mm. So of course I have to uh, get some cake. And uh, I think in the, ch like the, the strawberry would be pretty cool. I think Indigo said the, the strawberry, the very berry, but I'm thinking cheesecake. So, okay, he's loading up the vending machine. So you guys are getting a look at the vending machine too. So I'm gonna get the, uh, the strawberry, number five. 10 bucks, God damn it. I'm waiting. All right. It's uh, kind of interesting. Can't believe I just paid 10 bucks for two Osaka Omusubi cakes. But uh, yeah, of course he's loading up his uh, thing there. Thank you for the hearts. And this is what we got here, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna go find a place to sit down and uh, enjoy this in a minute. But uh, look at that. It looks like onigiri, but they are cakes. And uh, we will check it out. So thank you for all the hearts, uh, everybody. Really appreciate that. For a single piece of cake, highway robbery. Um, actually, I believe there's two. You can see one on this side and one on this side. So being a novelty item, it's not that bad. Hiromi's cake covered. Oh, thank you, Ram. You always treat my wife. I swear to God, you, sh you should just marry her. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you, brother. Uh, some other restaurants along here. This is going upstairs, obviously, but I want to take more of a walk around. Um, you do have uh, different banks, currency exchange. I always say don't go there. JP Post, UFJ, my two banks that I deal with mostly. This will take you out to the, to the free shuttle. Um, and you can go from the free shuttle buses. Actually, actually, let's go out here and I'll show you so that you guys can understand. This yellow is the free shuttle. Uh, this will take you to Terminal 1 and to Terminal 3. You can see there, free Terminal 1 to Terminal 3 right there, and they're gone. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how long it runs, uh, maybe every 10 minutes, could be every five minutes, uh, things like that. So hopefully the, that'll help you out there. And uh, Dorimon, how are you? You can see ANA everywhere. Uh, right there is Terminal 1, right there. Right across the, across the road here. Um, terminal, they actually have a new, uh, uh, they got to Japan's highest hotel. They just built over in Terminal 3 area. Not sure if we can get over there or not, but lots of parking. And as I come down on here, these are the airport limousine buses that you could take uh, to get into Tokyo. Now you could take the train um, or take the buses. I think, you know, 10, 15 bucks, whatever it is. And you can sit and relax. On the trains, honestly, I'm used to trains and uh, trains can be a bit of a hassle when you have all kinds of luggage, right? What did Ram say? If I keep the wife happy, I get more lives from you. It's a win-win. <laughs> Damn, Tim. Why do you know, know us so well? Oh, wait. You're one of our greatest friends. Blue Seal. Honestly, you know what? I've never had Blue Seal ice cream ever in my life. You got crepes in there. You got the Anna Festa, A-N-A -A Festa again. More vending machines over here. Now, I'm going to uh, sit down here. I'm gonna get a coffee, uh, enjoy coffee, but you got the Apple vending machine over there. I'll show you guys in a minute. Give me one second as I uh, turn around here. And I'm just gonna grab a, a bit of a coffee here for a sec. I need a hot to coffee. Right, Mike, dramatic pause, hawk. And actually, because I'm eating sweet, I'm not gonna have, yeah, I'm gonna have black. 160 yen, holy Christ. For one small coffee. My 
God, I just paid 160 yen for something I don't usually uh, have. So uh, yeah, that's, uh, I'll show you this, uh, this amazing cake that I just got, guys. Oh, I'm getting fat. Um, I'll try and read some of your comments, of course. So for all of you that are interested, of course, in uh, vending machine coffees, this is typical. Uh, this is UCC Black. Uh, they do have Georgia. They have uh, Boss Coffee, all kinds of uh, different coffees. Um, you can see the, the steam coming off of it. So cheers, everybody. Thank you for being with me today. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's uh, check this out, man. So this here is the Osaka Omusubi uh, cake. I, Jeremy, thank you so much if you're still watching. Um, you uh, made a donation yesterday to help me out. Um, and all of you do, of course, all your donations go to travel and food and flowers. <laughs> but as we open it up, it really looks honestly like two onigiris. Hey, Lori, how are you? How's the coffee? Coffee's always good. So uh, I'm going to share one of these with you today and uh, see what else we can get. Now they are a bit cold, um, it's kind of hard. So I'm just wondering, can I eat it now? That should be okay. Um, but again, you just open it up exactly, exactly like a, uh, a regular onigiri. But I know that is really expensive for Japan but you're also in an airport. Absolutely, mom, you are absolutely right. So again, you just open it up uh, just like a typical onigiri. Sometimes they don't open up the best way, of course. I got a whole shitload of uh, students here uh, wondering what the hell is this uh, foreign guy doing? <laughs> but again, you just pull out each side and uh, there you go, look at this. This is the Omosubi uh, cake, like that. Um, this is a thin crepe, and I'm just gonna open it up here, and you can see uh, it is, you know, basically pieces of cake, a bit of a cream, it's very hard, so hopefully it'll be okay. Don't hurt your teeth, and do you have a dentist appointment later? I do, Jeremy, I do, you remember. So, um, but it does look like an onigiri. I, I like the I like the crepe itself, you know, with all the designs on it. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but that is pretty damn cool, guys. Um, and I see something down here. Look at that. They even have like a, a piece of cracker or something, I guess, to hold it all together. But itadakimasu, everybody. Mm, okay. So. Oh my god, so good. Mm. I will say the one thing though, that when you do buy these, let them thaw out just a little bit better. It is a little bit frozen, but it does make sense that they would be uh, cold because they are coming from a, a vending machine, of course. It's a little bit frozen, Sandra Butler, and hello, good morning. But my chompers can get right through it, so. Mm. Mm. Very, mm. very strawberry. Mm. I like that. The cream is not as sweet as um, you know you would find back home. The cake, yeah, it's cake, right? Um, but it, th th this is all the rave right now. Everybody's talking. Hey, see, everybody's talking about these uh, onigiri cakes, and they had them a few years ago in Tokyo. Um, of course, um, the reason it's popular now is because this is uh, one of the only vending machines, I'm pointing at it, but it's back there, um, that actually has it now. Oh, we've got 50 likes. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much. Let's work on 100. So, yeah, that is, I got to say, um, is it worth five bucks a piece? I paid $10. I got two. Um... Is it worth five bucks a piece? I think so. You know, you're gonna pay for an onigiri, you know, a tuna mayo or a salmon or, you know, whatever. Probably a buck, a buck 10, a buck 30. So to have a novelty like this, um, yeah, I think it's okay for the five bucks. And you get nine choices. 
So that's pretty cool. So one more bite. Mm. Oh yeah, it's good. I almost feel like I'm in Eric Surf 6 territory doing a vending machine video. Can you believe this? I'm gonna have to call him up and say, hey, when are you gonna do the Omasubi uh, cake video? Because <laughs> uh, I don't usually do vending machine things, but uh, I wanted Spider Fresh to be proud of me. It's a vending machine! And airport tour. So I'm gonna save the rest of this and uh, see what else I can get along the way. Um, and uh, give me one sec, I just gotta go through this. The garbage is right here, so I can at least do that. Ah. Mm, that was good. That was sweets the first thing in the morning. You gotta like it. You should see all these kids here. My God, it's, it's crazy ass. Now, if you, when you do come here to the airport, you know, I live by Tokyo Dome, of course, so it's gonna take, it took me an hour to get here. Uh, Canada is part of Tokyo, but it's not that close as a lot of people would think. So let me turn the camera around here and uh, kind of show you those, all the, that black, all those kids are all kids here. Now, again, some of the vending machines, you know, this is just like uh, tea or something, but I like, it almost looks like an LGBTQ plus friendly style thing. Of course, I always support that. Uh, hey, Jackie, hello, how are you? Typical, typical vending machines. And then this is the Apple vending machines. Uh, for 200 yen, you can get uh, chunks of Apple. And there's not too much difference here, except for small bags. 400 yen is a big bag of uh, already prepared apples. So again, we're gonna find 200 yen, ladies and gentlemen. And I will show you the apples. I think it's a good, uh, it's a good treat to uh, come and uh, get, a, get something. My lucky number 23, so I'm gonna pick uh, 23. So you just sit here and you pick the number and it'll be a flashing button and I'm going to press the button. Look at the service of a vending machine, man. Look at that. And away you go. And we got our freshly one, two, three, four pieces of apple, which I'm going to have a couple in a second here. Another frozen vending machine here and decent sized bento boxes. Now, I don't know if they heat it up or what, like why you would actually come to the airport to get this, but you got your beef, uh, you got some sort of curries, some shrimp, all kinds of interesting things there. <coughs> and then the uh, gojo doll. Again, now this would be good for omiyage. Look at that, that would be something I think Indigo Rose would be happy with right there. Anytime I see matcha, I think of Indigo Rose. Uh, you, they do sell the bags, the cooler bags, for 350 yen, but that looks, I don't know, if you're into stuff like that, that's pretty cool. Hey, Sam, how are you? Are you on your way back from Okinawa yet, or what? Um, so yeah, I'm going to come to this free space here. And uh, let's, let's listen to the crunch of some apples. Ah. Uh. Ah, there we go. Oh, this is a nice little table. It's, uh, it's pretty good. So again, um, you got four pieces of apple, 50, 42 kilocalories. There you go. Um, four pieces of apple, 50 yen a pop. But again, it's prepared. Listen, you ready? Fresh as hell. Mm. My wife would be proud of me eating fruit. Mm. Mm. This is pretty good. Hey, Christian Funk, how are you? Um, it's 
sweet, a little bit bitter, but moderately pleasing. Mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, I think it's both indigo rose. Uh, there is a, actually, Tyra said there's a little discolor, there is a little discoloration you can see, you know, in the core area, but that's probably natural anyways. These were probably cut fresh last night. Mm. As I've been walking around here, I do see people opening up, as we saw earlier, stocking vending machines. So I bet you they do like an hourly or, you know, maybe every three hours or four hours, checking their vending machine, stocking it up, so on and so forth, which is pretty cool. Mm. Mm. John McGee. Mm. Oh. It's fresh. I haven't had an apple in so long. Mm. I don't know if they still have the banana vending machine here. We're gonna go find it. Mm. But you know, you get, you're getting on the plane, you want a fresh snack or something? Amazing. Mm. Mm. So why would I leave a tiny bit on the fourth one, I don't get it. Hi, Bob Trangu, how are you? Why, I, I just, I see Mindy's mom and Night Riders go having a conversation about leaving a little piece of apple. I don't get it. Andrew Lubar, how are you? Good morning. Nothing in four. Oh my god, I'm not superstitious. Come on, get rid of that shit. No, 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 man. I, I even like 413. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not superstitious, so I will eat everything, okay? Uh, Mikey in Vegas. I need to eat more fruits myself. I need to get off the seafood diet. Everything I see, I eat, right? Exactly, right? So, I'm not superstitious, so. Unless, uh, I, if, if you want me to be superstitious to win the lottery, then yeah, I would be. So, again, just to show you guys uh, some of these vending machines here. That is the Apple vending machine and just your typical drink vending machine. So, I'm going to uh, throw this in the trash and uh, give you guys a bit more of a tour of just the walking area. We're going to go up to the next level in a second here, see what other vending machines we can find. But I think uh, as you are, uh, you know, into the airport, you know, if you are, if you're not in um, Terminal 2, of course, Terminal 3 is more international. Um, I think, you know, you wouldn't, probably wouldn't take your time um, to uh, hit vending machines when you just want to get the hell out of here, right? This is the exit area. And uh, as I walk around here, just uh, if you are interested, you got Tully's Coffee back in the corner over here. You got uh, Nippon Rent a Car, all kinds of uh, different things. Looks like a big tour group is happening up here. Not sure. And we're trying to explore the area, but it looks like uh, those are coin lockers all the way down there. And yes, coffee, ladies and gentlemen. $2 bills, I love $2 bills. Oh my God. How many of you are that superstitious in the chat? I know um, Mindy's mom has her little things uh, on superstition. Uh, Indigo Rose, it seems like. I think uh, a few of you do. Um, personally, like, I don't believe in superstition. Um, I used to though, so I know how you feel. Uh, maybe that's why my wife never finishes her freaking dinner. Ah, I just got it. Mindy's mom and Night Rider's gal just helped me out, figure out here on me. Maybe, maybe. I'm not sure. 
she always like has like one little bite left. And she's like, oh, can you eat this for me? I think I understand you now. Oh my God, the, ro the roasted marshmallow s'mores. Okay, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, I have to get one of these. 700 yen for a pack of four. I know my wife will kill me, but I don't care. I gotta try out a s'more, don't you? Wouldn't you? Did I miss it? Did anybody actually ask me? Or answer my question. How many of you are superstitious in the chat on different things? John McKee has lucky numbers. Okay, I'm getting this. 702 yen, but roasted marshmallow s'more. I gotta get it. Oh my God, and of course I always hit lineups. <laughs> oh, absolutely. They do have uh, other interesting gifts and boxes here. You believe in ghosts? Oh, no, 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 don't go there. Because if it's haunted, it's haunted. Uh, so it is 702 yen exactly. That is awesome. Dollar seventy-five is more. Thank you. Oh. And then this is the rest of the uh, area. So yeah, let's go upstairs and uh, see where else we're going here. I'm not superstitious. I keep trying to tell him that Yokai is following him. <laughs> yeah, I'll kill Yokai. Uh, I'm superstitious to a point, but I do have lucky numbers. I believe in ghosts too. I like moon pies. <laughs> okay. All right, we're gonna go upstairs here. Gonna go, uh, this is the domestic departures uh, area here. Lots of beautiful people that just don't know how to, how to walk and keep uh, everything uh, on themselves. So I'm going to uh, come up to this marketplace area here and uh, see what this is all about. Not super, just, just slightly stitious. <laughs> Look at the view here. Amazing. Oops. Come on, Ken. There we go. That's pretty cool, eh, guys? 101 people. Let's get 100 likes, guys. That is, I like the elevators. It looks futuristic. I like the outside window uh, area. Which looks pretty damn sweet, guys. And then we're coming up to uh, <coughs> departures. Of course, as you come out through here, um, you got your departures area, which, uh, you know, it's quite simple and easy. International is actually back that way. Domestic is turning around, going back over into uh, this way over here. Canada sure has changed since I was 11. <laughs> well, it's changed in the last decade. How old are you, uh, Mindy's mom? 21? Yeah, it's actually changed a lot since I was here last. <coughs> okay, I found the next one, the vending machine I wanted to show you. Hey, Ryan, how are you? Got your message yesterday, sorry I didn't reply. Actually, I'm in Canada. That was one of your, your areas that you said... Uh, I'm going to be live streaming with uh, Ryan, Ryan's acrobat, of course, uh, sometime soon. I'm 29, awesome. All right, guys, here is the Pokemon vending machine. Too bad uh, some of you, uh, not sure if you are into Pokemon. I hate odd numbers from Tracy Garcia. Awesome, so I'm glad that you guys are answering me at least. Thank you. Um, you'll have to take us on the elevator ride when going back downstairs. I think I might, Mike. Absolutely, that's why I was hoping you'd invite me. I was just out live streaming this morning too. 
Sorry, Brian. So yeah, look at this. These are, uh, of course, you can pick, of course, Japanese, English, uh, Chinese, and Korean. Let's pick the English, of course. And uh, not sure. <laughs> Why would you pay 1,870 yen for some little Haneda airport kind of thing? But yeah, if we were to touch it, it's a stuffed toy. Canada Airport version one. So I guess, you know, for 18 bucks, if you want a little souvenir or something, a um, little whatever, that's pretty cool, I guess. Oh, it's not, it's not for, uh, for you. Three, three plus uh, buy. It does accept uh, credit card, you know, so on and so forth. I thought they'd have more choice, but it looks like, cause I was hoping to see like, you know, something like a Pokemon card or, something along those lines but this one here offers just this uh, thing I believe I can't I can't uh, change it or anything like that so this film mini video for short and Instagram stories okay um, okay I don't know where that came from but yeah I do have some uh, short videos coming out eventually I'm uh, just checking it out as to what I want to post but yes, some of these uh, Canuse sweets. We would like to ask all passengers on this To the left. Thank you. I'm not sure what machines you were talking about, but I'll go back that way in a second here. You do have up there also is uh, more restaurants and things like that. The Maple Mania. Of course, domestic is uh, leaving. Now you got all kinds of uh, things over here. This is the terrace restaurants up there, and uh, you got Maple Mania. All kinds of uh, different things there, and like, look at all the people, just like zombies walking out from the plane. These are groups of. Uh, this looks like one whole group here. So I'm not exactly sure what they're all doing. I mean, for Haneda content, I see. I typed, I typed that while you were standing at the Pokemon machine. So I'm gonna go head back. Uh, Forsyth was wondering something about uh, the left and I gotta go back this way anyways. Cause we are gonna go outside eventually. Stops here, ladies and gentlemen, not just the vending machines. Of course, I came here for that uh, onigiri uh, cake vending machine. But I got Daifuku. All kinds of yummy, yummy treats. Now you said to the left. Now I'm not sure if you meant left or right. This is the vending machine here. Not sure what you saw. Because I don't see any other vending machines around. That's kind of nice though. I like the, the, the way this looks. Feng would go broke at the vending machine, yeah, he would. He'd probably think, oh, they're all different, and buy one of e from each button. Oh, and somebody actually just bought one, too. Whoa. Spoil kids, spoil kids. Yeah, I don't see anything for us. I thought I'm not exactly sure what you were talking about, but we're going to go up to the uh, marketplace area here. And... Uh, So this is the, the uh, departures uh, level. We're gonna go up to the marketplace here. Maple pound cake, love it. I honestly set foot in Haneda exactly 50 years ago, damn. But you're 29, I don't get it. Walked right past them again? Are you sure they were vending machines? Oh, the, oh those are just information things, I think, Forsyth. They weren't vending machines. That's probably why I walked past it. <laughs> Coming up into the marketplace area, and of course, we're going to go back up here later on. Um, again, you can see so many stores that are available here. And hopefully, this will be some good information for you. Mindy's mom is a time traveler. <laughs> 
Now, I came up here for a reason. Is uh, I'm not sure what Forsyth is talking about. It's kind of bugging me, but these are all just information things all in along here. So um, I came up here to give you a view of what uh, what this looks like. Look at that. Hey, Jim and Harriet, how are you? Look at that, isn't that cool? I don't know, something about airports, man. Just love it, I absolutely love it. I am working on 3G, ugh. I am. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm checking my likes here. We got 75 likes. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much. There are a couple of blue machines right next to the Pokemon. They appear to be Pokemon related. Um, oh, I see them now, Forsyth. They're right there. Good eye. How did I pass by them? Ha! I thought you meant left was over in this way. They're right there. I see them. It means I gotta go down the stairs, though, man. Ah, oh, I'm gutted. I saw beer. I want a beer. Okay, I'll get a beer first. Somebody told me to get a beer. It should be open. Here, have a... Let's see how expensive beer is here. Heineken, they have coffee, beer. You have draft beer? Bitter Stout, Brewing Keisha, Weissen. Is this, a, can I get beer here? Can I get one of these? Uh, one? Yeah. Over there? Oh. Holy Christ, 10 bucks a beer. Uh, drinking now or take off? Oh, drinking now. Okay. 900. Oh, 900 yen. All right, well, we're going to sit down and have a beer with you guys for a second. And then I'll go down to Forsyth. Look at those Pokemon things. Okay, I'm sorry. I was stupid. It's nice and relaxing up here. I don't know if you guys can see me over here. Oh, I see somebody super chatted me. Thank you. Oh, it's got some head. Gotta like head. Thank you. All right, thank you. <laughs> I looked right at the guy and said, you gotta like head. And you just kind of, huh? <laughs> there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, thank you, Jim and Harriet. <coughs> wow, I'm at Hanada Airport, but I'm not flying. So that kind of sucks. But um, yeah, again, you know, like this is, um, I've been to this uh, area before. Uh, when I was flying down to Osaka to get my international flight uh, way, way, 10 years ago or something. This place is still here, but uh, to all of you in the community, cheers and thank you. Ah, and Jim and Harry says, time for a beer. And it is, absolutely, uh, guys. Uh, who doesn't like head, right? Hashtag takoyaki. <laughs> uh, so yeah, after this, we're gonna kinda kind of check out and see what there is. How much was the beer? Uh, 900 yen. $9, my money. Um, and uh, we're gonna go check out and show you the uh, observation deck area and then make our way all the way back down. Um, now this, of course, is the domestic uh, terminal with ANA International. Uh, if you really did want to find um, uh, that place you have to come to terminal 2 to get that onigiri cake thing over at terminal 3 I don't think they have it over there um, and I was researching like Paolo um, I was researching uh, a couple other youtubers who've done airport vending machine things before and uh, it's hit or miss you know um, but mostly it was at terminal 2 which surprised me they do have terminal 3 uh, stuff and I keep looking thinking terminal 3 is over there but that's terminal 1 
And I think the runway is back over there. So I don't know what we're going to see up there. And Terminal 3, yeah, I don't know if we can get there today, but uh, I do have to uh, meet up with uh, Hiromi and the puppies, so we might be doing a Patreon-only live stream after this. Um, not sure yet, but hopefully. Uh, it might run over with the boys' live stream. Sorry for the moderators that do, uh, do that, but... Uh, And yes, I am going to the dentist today. Um, I'm getting four implants uh, prepared and uh, they, they give me the, the needles to freeze everything. Hate that. Because um, what he does is, I don't know what, if you guys know what exactly what I'm talking about, I don't know how to explain it, but they wrap the string around uh, your tooth and then they push it between your tooth and your gums and it creates a better fit for implants, whatever. It hurts like hell for a couple days afterwards. Um, and then yeah, March, the beginning of March, I have to spend another $6,000, he said, for four more implants here. And uh, we'll be 75% of the way done. So I uh, can't wait. Spider Fresh. I got to join Patreon soon. You can join Patreon right now, Spider Fresh. Uh, my Patreon, ladies and gentlemen, just so you know, though, is set not for the beginning of the month. Uh, it is set that if you join up today, you get you renew uh, the next month on the day uh, that you signed up. So if today you signed up February 5th, 5th here, uh, March 5th, it would roll over again. Uh, I used to have it set for the beginning of the month all the time, but now I have the uh, opportunity to do it that way. So, and moderators, mom just posted the link and Vin posted the link to Patreon. Um, and I appreciate it if you do. Cheers, everybody. It's not a bad beer. It's a little, um, I don't know what you would call that. Um, it's not clear, clear. So I have no idea what that is. Uh, okay, sounds good. Pain, busy day. I got to join Patreon soon. Are you from California? Lori, I'm just kind of looking. Remember, if, I, if you don't say at totally Drew, I won't answer you unless I see the actual questions. So, because uh, I am looking at the replay here. But yeah, let's get going. It was so cold, I couldn't even swallow it. Ah, it's a beautiful day here, it really is. Ah. I have no, oh, they got garbage here. Why am I trying to give it back to them when they have a garbage? Ah, oh, that just set the mood, ladies and gentlemen. It just set the mood. Okay, I have to go down, because Forsyth, wants to see those machines and uh, I'm just gonna go down the stairs here and check out what were those machines down there that's uh, got me really intrigued now hey found in Japan how are you some early afternoon juice I like how you call beer early afternoon juice love it <sighs> totally drew test <laughs> Okay, so it was these, ah, oh, thank you Forsyth for uh, not giving up here. So again, touch, and it's Pokemon cards, Five, two cards for 520 yen. Ketso yen, good morning. Um, both machines are the same ladies and gentlemen. Both machines. See people, it works. <laughs> and uh, yeah, again, I'm just going to uh, wait. Okay, I might use that for the thumbnail later on. All right, so we're going to uh, come back up <coughs> to the observation deck area. And uh, hopefully, uh, hey Christian, how are you? Thank you for joining. Um, <laughs> that's a grandma right there. 
in the uh, the red and whatever you call that. She was so gangster, so gangsta. All right, so we're gonna come up this way, which is pretty damn sweet. I like. I don't know if you guys can see that up there. That is so cool up there. Damn. That is so cool. Oh. Ooh, I got a good buzz from the beer, ladies and gentlemen. The dentist is gonna hate me. Whoa, hello. So many beautiful people. <laughs> Tokyo's Tokyo. Cute little bunnies. I'm just following everybody here. Giving you the, uh, the view of this whole airport. It's pretty cool. This is just one out of three terminals. Camo, no one sees the drama. She's a ninja. That's what I was trying to say, camo. Couldn't think of the word. God damn it. I know this is late, but $9 is cheap for an airport beer. It is. I'm coming into the, uh, the restaurants here. Oh my God. I want to get out of here and come up into this area here. And I'm starting to see planes, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Korean just landed. So we're going to get some pretty good views, I hope, here. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the observation deck area. And it's a beautiful day to watch uh, planes flying out. Uh, I hope you enjoy this part of it. And every, you know, it's, a, it's, oh my God, I'm so in love right now, people. Oh, Christian Lonich, where are you from in Canada, may I ask? I'm just coming down here because I see this plane coming in and I forget the anime character name. But I'm gonna, this is from, this is Hokkaido's uh, airplane, Air Do. Coming in way over here. Hello, Carlitos. So let me zoom in here. This is the Air Doe plane there. Can you see that? Just came in probably, you know, maybe from Hokkaido area. But you can see the anime on top of it. Oh, from Quebec? Oh, awesome. And you can see uh, there's another Air Doe coming, sneaking in the corner here. Uh, they don't have nothing really on there. It looks like an A321 or something. But I don't know what anime that is on the back. Oh, Air New Zealand? No. Oh, private jet. Sweet. Looks like it's going so slow. Damn. Uh, sky tree, yeah, you can see the sky tree right there, Mindy's. So far away, this is all Tokyo Bay, of course. It's pretty cool, eh? You love this view? Awesome. Okay, so the plane disappeared. I'm going to zoom back out. We're going to go outside. Oops. Side, and hopefully you uh, enjoy. Uh, some more, some more plane views. Oh, excuse me. I got beer burps, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we got blue balls. I mean, blue ball. <laughs> this is what you'll look like if you have blue balls. Some of you might get that reference. <laughs> it's the beer. I, I'm blaming the beer, ladies and gentlemen. I'm seriously blaming the beer. So when you come up here, um, you know, you got the circle area right in here. And to get to the outside, of course, you have to come along this little walkway here. Thank you, Mom. I appreciate that. <laughs> so look at these photos they got going on here. Oh, that's nice right there.
solar seed Japan Air. Oh my God, look at that. I would love to have that hanging in my living room. That is amazing. All right, let's go outside. There's tons of people out here. They even have like, uh, this is Hide Yamamoto's uh, Castella Mola uh, restaurant. Heard good things about it. More popular observation deck areas. Because um, you do have some of the international flights on the whatever, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, runway that is over there. Departures are coming in. I want to see if there is any, uh, just going to kind of come into this area right here. This is, of course, you, it's, you're going to see a lot of A and A. Air dough came in from Sapporo. It did, probably from Chitose. Good thing I'm not the only one with a dirty mind. <laughs> when did Babe the blue, the big blue ox go to Japan? Where is Paul Bunyan? <laughs> see anything uh, happening right now well, you know me as soon as I turn the camera something will land or something will arrive but uh, yeah if you like to see uh, some of the big birds I can hear this one starting up right now if you know your airplanes I know I'm looking at uh, some 320s some 321s uh, 330 way over there A triple seven. But I think I see a triple seven way down there about to take off. So it all depends on uh, what you like. But it's always cool to come up here and uh, check it. I'm going to walk along here. <laughs> of course, you know, like, check it out. You can relax up here. It looks amazing. People come out here to take pictures. I can see another plane taking off right over there right now. I'll uh, steady myself. Where'd he go? There he is over there. Gale Expressos, good morning. Pretty cool. Another plane uh, just took taking off and uh, reworked, it, reworked into its course. If you guys like this, please smash the like button. Please help out the channel with support. Really appreciate it. Got a plane coming here. Looks like it's about to get ready to take off. Oh. I'm in a little bit here. And sorry, the wires are going to kill the focus a bit, but this little uh, A319 or something is going to be taking off soon here. You're loving the spider fresh off. I'm going to zoom back out a little bit. The... I'm getting my geek on here, ladies and gentlemen. That is Air Doe. Have a safe flight. Awesome. Maybe I should just put a camera down and live stream 24-7. See another one over there. <coughs> it looks like, every time I see a black plane, I always think of Air New Zealand. It might not be, but at the same time it could be. It says, please refrain from forcibly widening or pushing camera lens through the wire mesh as this could damage or deform the fence. Well, ladies and gentlemen, why the hell do you need to have this here anyways? You have a bar, right? I'm standing on, I'm, I'm standing on a platform up here. Okay, I get it, but maybe have it where it's just to here so that you can have clear views, you know? Ah, uh, I'm gutted. And look at the cameras these people are using, ladies and gentlemen. 
I love the energy that is in the air at the airports. Yeah, absolutely. I won't try any next time. Never. I've only ever flown gel. So yeah, my credit card, I changed over to ANA, collecting points. So in the last three months, I've collected about 16,000 air miles now. It's a lot of money spent. That's the good thing about dentals. I put it on my credit card and then I collect the air miles. I don't see much of anything going on. You got a Star Alliance plane over there. It's really nice to see all these uh, these birds just lining up. Uh, look at this freaking camera. Yeah, that's enthusiastic. Well, the lens. It's not the camera. It's the lens, right? There's more. There's more takeoffs going over on the other air thing there than anything else. Yeah, I guess it prevents people from jumping. So let me ask you the question, ladies and gentlemen, since we are at an airport here. What is your favorite airline of all time? Your favorite airline, your best, maybe not even your best experience, but your favorite uh, airline. Um, I know I've, I've always loved Air Canada. I hate to say it. Um, Singapore Airlines I flew with when I came back from Vegas last year, and it was meh, it was okay. Um, I've flown JAL, great service, uh, from Sapporo down to Tokyo. I've flown uh, ANA once, um, so it's okay. Delta, then JAL, Pan Am, okay, whatever. If your dental bill went through, went on your credit card, you should have enough miles to go into orbit. <laughs> Yabani, Qatar, Alaska. I like Alaskan Airlines, actually. I really do. I've never had a problem with them either. My God, it's so hot out here. Again, more... Uh, that runway over there. I think maybe we can get a better view from Terminal 3, but uh, there's more... Um, Departures going on over there. Look at that. Look at the way it turns. Just up 500 meters up and it starts banking to correct its course. That's insane. Oh God, I miss flying. Can anybody tell me? Was that United? Can anybody tell me what plane that is right there? Bueller? Bueller, anybody th have a guess? DeConnor Air Canada had a massive plane and great food. Air Lingus was nice. 727. No. It is an Airbus. This here is a Boeing. I think. Or maybe I got it backwards. 787? See more going on over there. Sorry, no, that's a Boeing, that's an Airbus. Oh, you can always tell the difference by the noses of the plane. An Airbus 380. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, not that. Oh my God, the, the way this plane is banking and correcting course. Oh, it's so amazing. Oh my God, I gotta fly soon. I gotta fly, I gotta fly. I got traveling, I got the travel bug. Uh, yeah, I think, actually Mike Hogg, I think that is an A340 over there, an A3. No, it's not an A330, A330, that's too small. This here, I think, Oh my goodness, 787? It's got the winglets. Well, maybe not. It's so hard because I, all I'm looking at is all the logos. Last 747 Boeing just rolled out a couple weeks ago. Hey, by you, how are you? Yeah, the last time I flew a 747 was from Bangkok to Tokyo. Which is pretty cool. So, all right. I, I, see, we should be over there because all the flights are over there. Domestically, I think we might be off the time frame now. 
um, of arrivals and departures. But I'm going to hang in there. I'm just going to walk to the end here. I'm going to hang in, see if we can catch one more. Because uh, I, like, I like hearing, you know, the plane rolling down the, the runway. It's always freaking cool. And you can see here, Terminal 2 up here. Uh, I hope you uh, recover well, uh, Bayou. I like the idea of having these private, well not private, but little booth here where you can relax. That's always good. Mm. Oh my. No, I know it doesn't have winglets. I, I made a mistake when I said that. Oh, we got a, an arrival coming in. Where'd it go? Looks like Solar Seed or. Sorry, it's blurry. Yeah, so let's see. Nice landing. Welcome to Tokyo. John Moran drew at his most zen. Okay, we got a takeoff coming, ladies and gentlemen. That's, that's a slow takeoff over there. Whoa, it looks so slow from here. Or, uh, yeah, departure. Ah. Uh, I'm on the A&A &A area. I'll meet you I'll get to your question in a minute. I want to see this takeoff and uh, get inside. I'm trying to keep... I'm just literally holding my arms out really... See this plane take off, and I'm gonna head back in. It's a big ass plane, man. Oh, I love it. Say fly. Oh. I'm a freaking human heart on right now. Just watching planes take. It, it seriously, I get I get this whole rush of it, I, I, excitement uh, whenever I'm here uh, checking out planes and uh, oh, even flying. You know. Um, just amazes me. Oh! All right, we're gonna head back in, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, Mindy's mom had asked, though, um, when you fly to the states or even to Canada, do you get up and walk around while in the plane? Of course. Um, and I'll sit in the, I'll sit in my seat until after dinner. Then I'll get up. I always sit in the aisle seats usually. Um, and then uh, yeah. I like to uh, get up, walk around, go hang out. Especially, you know, I do 12-hour flights, 13-hour uh, flights and things like that. So, you know, in the middle of the night <laughs> of the flight, you know, they have the snacks set up in the back. I'll go and talk to some uh, stewardesses or stewards uh, and things like that. You, if you don't get up and, like, I know some people, they sit in their seat and 12 and a half hours later, they get up. They don't go to the washroom. They just sit there and eat the three meals. You know, yada, yada, yada. No, I couldn't do that. I just, I need to walk. And yeah, I don't sleep, like mom said. Uh, I might nap for half an hour. That's why I drink a lot of whiskey, to try and sleep. 
Um, but, you know, I stay up probably about anywhere from 24 to 30 hours before my flight uh, so that I can sleep on the plane, but it never works. Never freaking works. But I've had uh, cross Pacific flights. I think I'm at now 41 flights. When I head back to North America, that'd be my 42nd flight in 17, 18 years. Um, so I'm used to long flights of 12 hours or more usually. One day I'll sleep, one day. It's a shame we because of security restrictions in the US. I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Why can't you just go to the airport? Why not? Yeah, every couple of hours, get up into Go Rose. So we're just gonna head back in here and uh, it is 12.30, I wanna keep this uh, down to about 12.30. Now Mike Dramatic Paws Hawk said, go down that elevator. So I'll try and go down the elevator. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I'm uh, gonna go back to the vending machine to pick up uh, another cake for Hiromi. And uh, I'm going to go meet out with her. Now, for all my Patreon members, I might, I, I might go live. I, it depends on the battery of my phone and, and everything. Um, so you might see a, an email, Patreon notification, or uh, on Discord. <laughs> if I don't, sorry. Um, I just got to see what I'm doing after this, how long it's going to take me to get back to the area. It's probably over an hour, hour and a half, so it might, ugh, I'm pushing it. You can't go to the airport unless you have a ticket? Really? Uh, that's what Carlitos is saying, ladies and gentlemen. Is it true? You can't go to the airport unless you have a ticket? Oh, great. So I got a line up here. Should we? Long flight scare my knees are so bad. Four hours is about as much pain as I can deal with. I, I'm sorry, Carlitos, I don't believe you. Can somebody confirm that? I, I can't see why you can't just go to the airport. Okay, I'm not going down the elevator. There's too many people. Sorry, sorry there, uh, Mike Dramatic Paws Hawk, but look at the view here though. That's nice. That's a nice view. Sweet. Nice. Love seeing all the different levels. It's actually really nice to see. All right, uh, I think I'm gonna finish up here, ladies and gentlemen, so I see the smoking room, and I'm gonna go have a smoke. <laughs> smoking room right here so let's go take a look one more time out into the observation area and uh, we'll finish up here little restaurant here didn't even see that last time oh so neat hmm. all right here is uh here is the view here, ladies and gentlemen. So hopefully you can uh, enjoy a bit of uh, the beautiful area of Tokyo. Like uh, Mindy's mom had pointed out earlier, Tokyo Skytree is way over there, which is pretty freaking awesome, eh? So Indigo Rose says you can't 
You can go to the airport, but you can't watch the planes taking off and land anymore because of TSA. Oh, that makes sense, but he was just saying you can't go to the airport, so that's why I was calling bullshit. Um, in the U.S., you can't get past the baggage claim area. That makes sense too, right? Enjoy your smoke. <laughs> Woo-woo, 100, smash it. It's better than smashing with a hammer. Um, have you ever been to any of the airport lounges of some of the airlines there? Yes, I have uh, visited almost all airport lounges here, uh, Jim and Harriet. Uh, some are okay, some are meh. Uh, my wife loves airport lounges, and I don't have any reason to visit them. You know, you got free food and whatnot, but uh, other than that, I could care less. I'd rather just go shopping. If you come to LA, Gary will know exactly where to take you to watch planes take off from LAX. Is down by the beach. Uh, then we'll take you for a Johnny's Pastrami Sammy. Um, actually, I know another place, uh, uh, that, that YouTube channel, that's, that they, they live stream from that boulevard, wherever. That's, that'd be pretty cool to go see them while they're live streaming too, because uh, I watch that channel a lot. Noise, noise, noise. That is a Boeing 787, ladies and gentlemen. 100%. No, wait. <laughs> 100%. Wait, is that a 767? 787? God damn it. Oh, I'm confused. Anyways, all right, ladies and gentlemen, I do have to go. Uh, I want to say thank you to everybody. Uh, it, uh, each and every one of you uh, but I hope you enjoyed uh, a bit of the uh, vending machines and walking around Canada Airport and uh, some plane spotting as you would say uh, I'm not sure about the Patreon video but uh, you will get a notification if I do go live thank you everybody truly truly appreciate the super chats my moderators our Patreon sign up today and of course our emoji club members uh, take care everybody uh, we'll see you real soon and remember please check out these two videos here the Patreon link is here if you want to become a part of our TD Crew Asylum family and uh, subscribe. Keep it real, keep it raw, to yourself because I always do. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.